Michelle and today we're doing my Ipsy unbagging and if you guys like raw unbaggings please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up if you want raw unbaggings unbaggings of Ipsy because they are my one subscription that isn't the same as everyone else's subscription so that's kind of exciting so let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will continue to do these every month so let's go ahead and hop in and see what we got in our bag I have seen the style of the bag this uh, month and it's quite different so the little card says destination chic by Ipsy and it says greetings from and then it says where are you now and then you can send Ipsy back a little postcard telling them where you are, what you're doing. I'm in LA, just like Ipsy is. How exciting. Actually, it is really exciting. I love living here. All right, you guys, let's check out my bag. So this month is an envelope style bag, and it has all the different places in the world on it. It has the Coliseum and the Statue of Liberty and all this fun little stuff in Big Ben. It's really cute. So I'm going to open this up and see what and the nation is inside. <clears throat> so I see like three masks it looks like. So it's kind of exciting, three of them. So I got a Lifting and Radiance mask by So AE and it's a collagen essence mask. It's a honey mask and then from the same brand I got a brightening collagen essence mask and then and then I got a collagen mask. <laughs> so a lot of collagen is happening here. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I like using um, these types of masks. Sheet masks are one of my favorites. Plus it's 15 to 20 minute mask. It's some, something to give yourself a little bit of time to yourself and have a nice feeling on your face. So I'm excited to try that. I'm usually nervous about skincare, but I, for some reason, I'm not nervous about masks as much as I am like creams and things you like leave on your face but if it's something that I can take off then I'm more um, likely to try it so let's see what else is inside I found a little brush it's from it's called the 282 eye fluff brush this is for from the brand Inspur and let me see what it feels like here so it's an eye fluff so this is like a really defining like I wouldn't say crease brush but maybe it's not really an under the eye brush so I would use this to really define my crease or use it on the outside corner it's pretty soft so it's not like incredible but it's not bad like I'll definitely use it and oh okay here is the one of three things that they told you about in your email so I got the it cosmetics no tug waterproof gel eyeliner it says it's infused with the anti-aging peptides, silk, and collagen. More collagen. Delivers rich color without tugging on delicate lids. First ever, first ever, first ever waterproof automatic gel pencil. What? Let's open it and give it a little swatch and see how black this thing is. Because it is in the shade black, by the way. Okay. First ever, what did they say? First ever waterproof automatic gel pencil. So I guess the fact that it's waterproof and automatic, that makes it the first ever. It's pretty black, you guys. It's gonna be nice, I think. I'm gonna try this in my waterline because I'm always struggling to find one to put in my waterline that doesn't disappear and or make my eyes water. So I'm excited about that. So then I got Remarkable People. Um, perfume. It says grapefruit champagne accord. Something I can't pronounce. Jasmine curry, black pepper, um, and sandalwood. And other things I can't pronounce. What? Let me see if it smells good. I don't really like getting perfumes because they make me nervous. I love Scentbird, but oh no. It's not for me. It's not for me. This is bad. This is like good but bad and weird and spicy and spicy and I don't know. Hmm. Actually it's kind of interesting. I don't know. It's like a million different smells all at once and I can't compare it to anything that I have. What? It smells like, like mint and gum and then I smell like Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb for men. Spice Bomb? Or is it 
What is it for men? Anyway, no, no. Sometimes that's just a big no. And that's a big old, like, sample. Whew. My room is going to smell now. Ah, what is this? Last but not least, I got all excited because I thought it was something from Benefit, but it's from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. And it's Caribbean Sun Bronzer Duo. It's a bronzer duo. Check this out. Oh, it has a little bronzer and blush inside. So it's got like a peachy tone blush. Let's put that on the back of the hand. Not bad. It's really pigmented as a peachy color and a bronzer. That is mixing with the... Oh, it's kind of a cool tone bronzer. There's those two. So we'll see about those. It's kind of interesting. They feel pretty nice on the skin, so we'll have to see. I'll have to play with those. I don't like that it's in a pan like that. I mean, look how tiny that is. Since it's a sample, it's like, how am I gonna get my brush in there? How am I gonna get my brush in there? I don't know, we'll see about that. We'll see, like, sometimes things in my bag don't entice me because I can't, like, they're so tiny that I can't even use them. And I'm like, how am I ever gonna get my brush in there? I like the bag. I feel like now that I've had Ipsy for a while that I'm getting way too many bags and I don't know what to do with them. So the It Cosmetics thing is exciting and then um, the brush is nice and then I got all these masks so I would say this is a pretty good bag this month. Sorry for the interruption of the motorcycle. So that's a, a lot of masks, you know. I guess if you even spent two dollars on those, that's like six and then... I don't know, it's not too bad. I'm not like, I'm like kind of interested in the bronzer blush duo, but the fact that I can't get my brush in there is kind of, I don't like that. But anyway, Ipsy didn't truly disappoint this month, so that's exciting. Um, the perfume, whatever that is, has got to go. Like it is in my room, I can smell it. Woo! I can smell it on the card. It's got to go over there. All right, you guys, if you guys like my raw baggings of my Ipsy, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I don't always love my Ipsy bag, I have to tell you. I've had some really good ones and then some really terrible ones. So this is always exciting for me to open them because I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to get, you guys. I have no clue. And at least I knew some of the brands. No, I knew one. I knew one brand this month and it was it Cosmetics. So yay for it Cosmetics being part of the FC bag this month. All right, you guys, and I guess that's it for this video because I can't unbag anymore. I'll let you guys know how the products work out and they'll be featured in my favorites video at the end of the month if I do so enjoy them. And also, before we go, I totally didn't tell you what was on my lips and it's Aries by Ofra by Manny MUA. And that is what's on my lips. What's in the center of my lips is Urban Decay's Sheer Formulation in Walk of Shame Lipstick. So I just put that on to kind of highlight and give an ombre effect. But anywho, that is all for my Ipsy unbagging. I hope you guys are having an awesome week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!